everyone, this is Yekalpana here in this video. We are going to solve a differential equation from higher order linear differential equation. So let's get going. Problem. Solve d square minus 4d plus 4y. Sorry, plus 4 into y equals to sine 2x. So let's find order and degree of the given equation firstly. Here, highest derivative is d square. So our order will be 2. And the highest power of the highest derivative is 1. So our degree will be 1. Or... You can just write the given equation as d square y minus 4 dy plus 4 y equals to sine 2x, right? We know that differential operator d equals to d by dx. Then d square is d square by dx square. Then you can write d square y as d square y by dx square minus 4 into dy as dy by dx plus 4 y equals to sine 2x. Now identify the highest derivative. Here d square y by dx square is the highest derivative, so our order will be 2. And the highest derivative of the, sorry, highest power of the highest derivative is the degree. So here our degree is 1. Now coming to the problem. We are given a differential equation which is in operator form and also it is in f of d into y equals to q form and also q is in sine ax form. Given differential equation, d square minus 4d plus 4 into y equals to sine 2x, which is in operator form. f of d into y equals to q, where f of d equals to d square minus 4d plus 4 and q equals to sine 2x. Now we need to find the general solution to the given non-homogeneous equation which is given by y equals to yc plus yp, where yc is a complementary function, yp is a particular integral. We will find yc using the roots of the auxiliary equation of the homogeneous equation of the given non-homogeneous equation. If you just state RHS as 0, then you'll get the homogeneous equation of the given non-homogeneous equation, right? And yp is a particular integral. You can find it using 1 by f of d into q. Now, firstly, let's find the complementary function using auxiliary equation. The auxiliary equation of f of d into y equals to 0 is f of m equals to 0, where f of m equals to, we are having f of d equals to d square minus 4d plus 4, right? Uh, let's replace differential operator d by m, then you'll get f of m equals d square, that is m square minus 4m plus 4. Then our auxiliary equation becomes m square minus 4m plus 4 equals to 0. You can write this as m square minus, here you are having 4, right? You can write it as 2 square. You can write 4 as or 4m as 2m into 2 plus 4 as 2 square, which is in a square minus 2a into b plus b square expansion of a minus b whole square form, right? Then m minus 2 into m minus 2 equals to 0. Equate each factor to 0. Then we'll get m equals to 2, m equals to 2. Right? So we have repeated root that is equal root or we can just write the equation as simply we'll split minus 4m as minus 2m minus 2m plus 4 equals to 0 now take m common from the first two terms we'll get m times m minus 2 and take Minus 2 common from the next two terms. We will get minus 2 times m 
minus 2 equals to 0. See, minus 2 into m is minus 2m, minus into minus plus 2 to 0, 4, right? Here we are having m minus 2 in both the terms. So let's take m minus 2 common from these two terms. We'll get m minus 2 into m minus 2. Equate each factor to 0. Then we'll get m equals to 2, 2. Right? So we got m 2, 2. So this 2 is repeating twice. Therefore, m equals to 2, 2 are the roots of Are of the equation which are equal. We know that if two roots, say m1, m2, are equal, then a complementary solution will be C1 plus C2x into e power that equal root into x, right? Since we are having two equal roots, so we'll get two terms under the brackets, okay? Now, let's write complementary function. y c equals to c1 plus c2x into e power that repeated root into x. Therefore, y is equals to c1 plus c2x into e power 2x. Now we need to find the particular integral. We can find particular integral using 1 by f of d into q. We have 1 by f of d, d square minus 4d plus 4 into q sine 2x. Here, this is in 1 by f of d into sine ax form for a equals to 2. Right? So, firstly, let's find d square, which is given by minus a square. This is a formula. Okay? Which is equals to minus for a equals to 2. We get minus 2 square equals to minus 4. Okay? Now, let's see what happens if we replace d, that is, replace d square in the denominator. We'll get d square minus 4d plus 4, which is equals to minus 4 minus 4d plus 4 equals to plus 4 minus 4 gets cancelled and you'll get minus 4d, which is not equals to 0, which is nothing but by replacing minus 4, that is d square by minus 4, our denominator will be not equals to 0. So we can replace d square. by minus 4, okay? Since d square equals to minus 2 square, which is equals to minus 4. Then we'll get, we'll just write the same steps. Minus 4, minus 4d, plus 4 into sine 2x. Right? Is equals to 1 by minus 4d into sine 2x. Here plus 4 minus 4 gets cancelled, right? Now we can split 1 by minus 4d as 1 by minus 4 into d. You can just directly split as minus 1 by 4 into 1 by d, okay? This equals to, again, I'll split this as 1 by minus 4 into 1 by d into sine 2x. Now, I'll write 1 by minus 4 as minus 1 by 4 into 1 by d sine 2x. Here, 1 by d represents inverse of differential operator d, right, which is nothing but integration. is equals to minus 1 by 4 into integral sine 2x dx. Since we know that integral sine ax dx equals to minus cos ax by a, 
then for a equals to 2, we will get minus cos 2x by 2, which is equals to minus into minus plus cos 2x by 4 to the 8. Therefore, yp equals to cos 2x by 8. Now we can write the general solution. The general solution is given by y equals to yc plus yp. We have yc, c1 plus c2x into e power 2x and yp is cos 2x by 8. So therefore, y equals to c1 plus c2x into e power 2x plus cos 2x by 8 is a required solution. So we have seen a problem from higher order linear differential equation in this video. Hope you will understand. We will see you in the next video. Until then, bye bye.